<coughs> making genetic code. Changing the genetic code of living organisms. Okay, did you look that up in the book? Yes, I did. <laughs> you weren't supposed to look it up in the book. Oh, I thought we were. Sorry, oh. I thought we were supposed to find it. All right, but that is, okay, genetic engineering is, okay, engineering is making things. Now we're taking genetics and making things from that. Yes. Can I read my answer? Yes. I didn't look in the book, but I don't know where. Okay, I said genetic engineering is the fondling of genetics to be no of genes to be made into anything needed or wanted. I said okay. fondling. <laughs> um, yeah. So basically, what we're doing is we're making we're making new technologies, new products, new things using genetics. Okay. Do you think cloning of any organism should be allowed? Okay. This was a good warm-up question today. So we're going to get into the process of cloning and why we talked a little bit about cloning last week. Carly, I think it all depends on whether uh, like it's hurting the organism. Like if you're like cloning like say a sheep, okay? Right? Like they did, like did it harm? Did it harm the sheep at all? Like, no, because okay, all you're doing is you're just taking, you're that, taking a, the, yeah. uh, a cell, taking that genetic information from that cell. So you're not cl um, harming the organism, but. I think a lot of questions, uh, certainly about human cloning, it, that brings that that issue brings up is how far is too far? Because yeah. if you clone yourself, then it's going to technically somebody else has your exact same DNA. Now we know that twins, identical twins, have the same exact DNA, but I think it brings up a lot of ethical questions, mm -hmm. and a lot of people. Certainly, um, the United States has a stance that they do not want to do human cloning. Now we can't control what other people want to do in the world. But we have taken the stance that we don't want to do this. Uh, Ripley. Um, can you also like clone like plants or like one of those things? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. I think that would be like a like, like a good thing. Like, like if some if like a plant species is like starting to like like all of them are trying like they're starting to like disappear, then we could also like clone the plants and have them breed so we can have more plants for the. And you bring up a very good point because a lot of people are, um, are proponents of cloning because what if we could bring back extinct organisms? Okay, if we could get DNA and save that from organisms once they're extinct, we could technically clone them when they're on the brink of extinction or almost extinct, and we could help that population um, reemerge. I was saying, like, um, if you like the standpoint of like the economy, like. We could clone money. We could come out there like, are you sending the data? Yeah, we're sending it through yeah. Yeah. We just need to get the uh, announcement out. Okay, I'll do it today. Okay, and then Ms. Senior just if you start telling about lunch for next week. Okay, I'll talk to her about yeah, that. Yeah, talk to her. Okay, All right, thank All right. you. Go, I'm um, sorry, Max. That's fine. Um, I was going to say, like, if you do agriculture and, like, um, that sort of thing, like, cloning the best, most, like, productive plants, like, when you're talking about, like, uh, farm crops and that sort of thing that could be really useful so I think that should be allowed. Um, cloning like animals I think should be like fine to an extent. I mean I'm not saying clone like an army of cows but um. <laughs> But you also bring up another good point. You know the, the human population is getting very very large so how are we going to feed all these people and if we can up the food supply maybe that's another way that we can um, tackle that question. Okay a couple more comments and then we'll get into the notes today. If yes, we like do clone clone like extinct species, wouldn't that mess up the whole modern food chain as it is like now? We're not talking about like di bringing dinosaurs back. What we're saying is, okay, maybe this, something that was in 1980s, okay, we're bringing back that. And I see where you're going with that. And that could, that could add a whole host of problems. And you're, you're very right. We have to be very um, careful on, on how we use this technology. All right. Um, okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, chapter 13. Okay, I have a nice note sheet to go along with PowerPoint, so uh, let's see here. Dwight, can you see that? And it follows it perfectly, guys. Alright, it follows it perfectly. What's up? I think a lot of got this note sheet last Oh, okay. Um, Jackson. Wait, no, I need it because uh, I love my Who needs it? Tell Dwight not to get in the shower. Raise your hands if you need this note sheet. Friday, when we were supposed to do that, but we're not going to talk about why we were about that. Oh, yeah. forgot about that. What's up, Okay. Dwight, Carolyn needs one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just because of the so, video. Really quickly, who can oh, tell me their favorite animal from the zoo yesterday? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Lions. 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 L